Hi, hi, hi. Hope you're well. Hope you're swell. Hope you're crazy. Hope you're crazy. Hope you're crazy. Um, I'm thinking I might have been too harsh on Spider-Man 2. Because I've been complaining about it the past couple of days. I don't know. I think my, 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 my disappointment and anger is, is real and justified. But what I'm realizing is that I, I do think um, the game does have some good things to offer. You know, I was at the early stages of the game when things are picking up. But, you know, now, now that it's hitting its stride and gaining momentum, there are some things I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of that I'm, I'm seeing here and there that are pretty cool. So there are moments where I'm having fun. There are other moments where I'm like rolling my eyes and really sad that they, they're they bogging down the experience of all this woke nonsense. And when I say woke nonsense, I'm just there's just certain messaging that I feel is being ham fisted into the game. It's clear that they're trying to, to moralize and then you know and preach a certain message. They're trying to be subtle, but I, I, I'm picking up on it. I don't think it's that subtle. Bro, I was like recording, and then this thing popped up. It ended my recording to ask me to update my phone. I'm like, it's so invasive. I'm busy. Now I have to edit the clips together, damn it. <laughs> anyway, what was I even saying? Yeah, you know, I just think they're just trying to do what a lot of entertainment does this day, which is preach the message instead of tell a good story. Um, and, you know, the story has things that are there that are decent, some good moments. But I think it's bogged down, like I said, by a lot of this stuff. So, but mm, I'm, 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 I'm having fun here and there. I think the swinging is really cool. I like the web swinging. I like that he has this these web wings now that let him fly through the city. It reminds me of Batman Arkham in, in many ways. And, but I think this is very unique still. Is unique because he's more he feels more fluid in his movements like Spider-Man and a lot faster as well and he's like, like uh, flying this basically flying it's actually quite cool and I like the physics behind it too they really thought about it these wind tunnels which are basically these winds that you can catch while you're while you're gliding. These um, what do you even call them? It's, it's just tunnels of wind that that pass through the air. I'm not sure about the the science behind it. But I'm sure that's a real thing where you can catch a draft of wind and carries you through the air. Boosts you, give you more momentum, and you can fly for longer. You can glide for longer. It's quite cool. It's quite cool. Um, so I'm, I'm enjoying that, and the certain set pieces that are decent as well. So we'll see how the game um, progresses. I wish they would let me pick the suit that I want from the beginning. You have to grind for the suit that you want. If it was me kind of designing some of these systems, what I would have done, because they basically tied your suits to your XP, so your, your, your level that you're at, which is earned through XP, so if I'm at level, so there's certain suits that can only be unlocked at level 14, for example, or, or rather each suit is tied to a particular level, so there's a, one suit you could get at level 14, there's another suit you get at level 20, so on and so forth. Instead of doing it that way, what I would have done is, like, t 
tie your skills to your level. So you only unlock certain skills on the skill tree once you reach a certain level. Because the issue with tying suits is that you might want to play with a certain suit for the whole game, but now it's taking you forever. It's, what if the suit you want is locked at le level 40? And you only get to level 40 when you're halfway through the game or something like that, or, or, or whenever. It's not ideal. It's stupid. You want to be able to play in your favorite suit for as long as possible. So what I would have done is, like, allow people to purchase these suits with tokens that you earn through doing certain missions, like side missions or activities that you can find throughout the world. And if someone wants to unlock a certain suit early on in the game, they can do it. If they farm those tokens, but you make it fun, you don't make it like feel like they're farming, you make it feel like they're actually engaging in fun activities. That way, you know, you, you don't have a thing where you're creating activities that allow them to farm XP in high amounts, which allow them to level up very rapidly. And before they're even halfway through the game, they're already at level 50, 60 or not, which would uh, maybe make things imbalanced to be too strong too early on. I can understand the problem with that. However, if that is even a problem necessarily, you could scale things up accordingly. But anyway, um, if you want to avoid that scenario, you don't tie your suits to your XP. Instead, you tie it to tokens you can earn. So I would have done it that way. I think that would have been a lot smarter, but that's not how they did it, unfortunately, because I really want to play in the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man suit. I think it's the best suit. It's my favorite suit, and I want to play in it, but I can't because it seems like it's locked at a high, high level, which I'm not anywhere near right now, which is annoying. It's very annoying. Because I'd have loved to... Like, it was part of... What made me excited to get the game is playing in that suit again. Now I'm realizing I can't play in it. For a long time I can't play in it. It's just a bummer because I keep getting into all these um I keep getting into all these scenarios and set pieces. I'm like this would look so much cooler if I was in the Tobey Maguire suit. And I feel like when I was playing Spider-Man on my PS4, the first Spider-Man on the PS4. I unlocked the Tobey Maguire suit a lot earlier. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's because I had the deluxe edition of the game, which might give you early unlock for your suits. Unlock suit early. Which is crazy that you have to pay for that. You have to pay money to unlock your suits early. That's kind of ridiculous. Really greedy behavior, if that's the case. Um... But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still having fun here and there. We'll see. There was a part, there was a part in the game where you go to this fair. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. It's called a fair, right? Or like a what do you call it? It's not like a theme park, I guess it's kind of like a theme park, but not exactly, there, there are rides and games you can play, people waiting in lines to go on roller coasters and stuff, but like, and the concession stands and whatnot, I think it was a fair, I think that's what they called it, but it, I guess it could be a theme park maybe, but I don't think it was a theme park, anyway, there's a particular part of the game where you go with Mary Jane and Harry to this fair and you get to play certain games and ride on certain rides and stuff like that and I thought it was well done, I thought it was pretty cool it was pretty fun, it was nice I enjoyed that and um, I do want them to keep some of that stuff to the minimum Unless it's really well done. Sometimes it can be annoying because you, like, you just want to play a Spider-Man. You want to beat up some criminals. And they make you do all this other stuff. But, you know, I think when it's well done, it actually makes sense. But I just don't trust them to do 
did get it right. It could have been done right. I, I think you could have had scenarios where you're going on dates with Mary Jane and then someone attacks you and it's so cool and she has to get rescued and whatever the case may be. But I feel like so much of that gets wasted. Just to focus on other things they don't need to be focused on. <clears throat> like they... They can't get it right. In some instances. In some instances they do get it right. In some other instances that I... Uh, I don't know about this. But yeah, it inspires me to... One day also be able to make my own game. Because I, I, I see some of these things and these, these, these mistakes being made. And I'm like, these, these are easily avoidable things. If you just did it this way or that way. Um, so, you know, it's easy to talk, of course. It's easy to talk. But I am trying to find my way, find my way there. So I can also one day throw my head in the room and show people how it's supposed to be done. But it's so frustrating to see some of these things taking place in the industry. Um, but yeah. I think I'm going to hit 50,000 words today. I, I should really. Uh, I'm at like 49.3 thousand words, 49,300 words or something like that. So I don't have that many words to write before I reach 50,000. So I should reach 50,000 today. Which will leave me with only 30,000 approximately words. I'm very excited, guys. I'm very, very excited. What of what's to come. So I'm, I'm nearing the end. I'm just wondering if I should include a certain chapter I'm thinking about or if I, if I should begin to wrap things up now. I'm at 50,000 words. I'm thinking I should enter the end game now. I'm going to to wrap things up. Perhaps. We'll see. 30,000 words is still a lot of words, so I don't want to wrap things up prematurely and then I end up falling short of my word count goal. My word count goal being 80,000 words. My word count goal was initially, initially, um, my word count goal was initially 40,000 words, which is hilarious because we're way over that. Now, but you know, I don't, as I was writing, I just realized, yeah, this is probably going to be more than that. Just because the certain details I want to flesh out. Um, so now, we're ending up at 80,000, which I think is enough. It's more than enough, actually. Because now I'm at the point where I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I might have to add certain details in order to reach that word count goal. So, 80,000 words is more than enough. And you have to be careful with that adding stuff, you know, like with that whole thing of adding details. You have to be careful because you can end up artificially padding your story, which is not good. Padding in general is not good. You want, you want to have as little fat on the meat as possible. You don't want people to just have just bite into your story and be like is a meaty story. you're having a great time they're not being distracted by nonsense so we'll see I'll try my best but yeah it's just important to me just to make sure that I actually get it done get it finished and I'm not, I'm getting there I'm getting to that point I've been good at showing up every day, being faithful to the process, just showing up, showing up, showing up. Just showing up is so important. Man. That's the, the that's the main thing right there, just being able to show up. And then yeah. Once it's done, I'll put it out. You know, I think about how it would be nice if people bought it. I, I'll be lucky if it sells as much as my poetry book. My poetry book sold like 30 something units or something like that. 31, 32 units. I'll be lucky if 32 people buy this book, to be honest. If I get more than that, that's a blessing. But you know, for now, 
I'm really just focused on finishing and just writing something. But I'm praying to God that somehow, some way, I can gain traction with this. You know, it would just be so amazing if I could gain traction with this the same way I gained traction with my YouTube channel, this YouTube channel. Putting out videos and then all of a sudden your videos are doing well. And you know, right now I'm at 16,000 subscribers. <laughs> uh... I made some comments, some controversial comments the other day, and, you know, the, 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 the numbers have been decreasing. But, you know, still still very high, high subscriber count, and I'm very blessed and happy about that. So, it would be so amazing if I could put out a book and gain traction in that world of putting out books, writing books, and putting them out, and people buying them, and increasing recognition, and all this stuff generating an audience in that realm and the same thing with the music i got an album coming out sometime soon how many songs do i have done for the album i think about maybe six songs complete so far five or six songs complete I'm not exactly sure and then i got a couple beats that i still need to write to and i need to make a couple more beats and then the album will be out it'll be nice to for all these things to kind of work but yeah, my ultimate, my ultimate, 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 ultimate goal is to start a video game company and just prove that, hey, we can do way better than what's being done right now. We have done way better, you know, better games have been made in the past. I just feel like the current era, and we call it the DEI era, where you just hire someone off of their race or their gender and stuff like that, all that sort of malarkey instead of hiring someone who's qualified it's it's resulting in very bad products being put out because there are a lot of people who are just not they don't deserve to be where they are at but they were hired because they they are part of some group we need to put an end to that it needs to stop um, and I want to prove that great games can be made that don't engage in all this nonsense you can still have fun stories that everyone can enjoy without playing these DI games. So, we'll see. That's my, that's my ultimate goal, I believe. Oh, my ultimate goal is to be happy, to be married, to have children, to be at peace, close to God. That's my ultimate goal. But, you know, just in terms of career ambition, I think my ultimate goal is to start a very successful video game company in games that really, that, that, that really, really, really stand tall next to any game you can, you can, you can think about. I want to be the best. I want to be the absolute best. And the first step to, towards getting there is writing these books. Just to establish myself as a writer that knows what he's doing. People can recognize that I know what I'm doing. They can have confidence in my ability to tell good stories. So when you hear that Jesse wrote something, you're like, yeah, that's probably fire. It's probably something amazing that can stand next to any narrative out there. So, yeah. We'll get there. Because I, I just see how... You know, for example, Sony with the PS5, I'm like, people are dropping the ball constantly. It's insane that this thing has been out for four years and there's not that many games, like exclusive games on it. If it was me running that company, I'd be firing a lot of people right now. If, if, if I found out that, I mean, obviously it'd be my fault because I'm running the company, but you know, if, if they say they hired me right now, Jesse, run Sony, run PlayStation right now. Boy, a lot of people are getting fired. A lot of people are getting fired. Because there's no excuse for why things are this bad at this stage. At this late of a stage into the console life cycle. There's no excuse why we don't have enough exclusives. Look at our competitor, Nintendo. Look at how well they're doing. Their fans are happy. Our fans are pissed. The amount of negative press around us is unacceptable. 
lot of people are getting let go. And then I'm going to replace them with competent people. You might have to shrink the size of the company. Sometimes, a lot, a lot of the time, there's also a lot of people that don't need to be there that are there. Too many chefs in the kitchen. Ruin the dish, something like that. So I'll probably shrink the size of the teams working on this stuff so that you don't have too many people inputting unnecessary opinions. There's just some things you don't need to hear. Um, and then, yeah, I'll, I'll focus on taking all the money we have, the millions and millions and millions of dollars we have, if not billions, and investing them in great studios that can make great games for us. We've got so many IPs we've built over the time. You, you think about the history of PlayStation and all the incredible first-party games they've put out that never got revisited um, for whatever reason. I'd say... It's a good thing we ha we fired the clowns that could not capitalize on that obvious tre treasure trove of IPs. Now we let's take our money and invest it into studios that can create remakes of classic games that people have been asking for. Let's uh, create let's continue some series that never got continued. You know, there are a lot of people that wonder what it's like Cooper on the next generation look like. Sly Cooper on the PS5, why the hell have we not capitalized on that? Why the hell don't we have uh, another kill zone? Why the hell don't we have another uh, those other games? So, um, there was some other sh uh, shooter PlayStation, there's this other play, uh, shooter game that was exclusive, exclusive to the PlayStation, it's prominent in the PS2 and PS3 era. Who got his name wrong? Well, like, why, why aren't we capitalizing on that? I'll be making a lot of different decisions for sure. And I'll be dealing with the, the fans, the core audience, a lot better. We had this idiot, uh, Sean Layden, who used to be the head of Sony, uh, the head of PlayStation America. He said to people, if you don't like it, don't play it. That's what he was saying to his fans who were complaining about some particular game that had come out. I can't remember what it was. If you don't like it, don't play. I'm like, that's terrible to say as a business owner. Um, in terms of some nonsense product you've put out that no one likes. When the majority of your customers are like, this is trash, maybe you should course correct and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we, can't, we can't keep doing this. But no. No, my two guys. So yeah, pray for Sony. Hopefully they survive this period they're in. And they, they get back into form because the PS era, PS3 era, and parts of the PS4 era were kind of lit. But these days, oh, it's not a great, it's not a great period of time to be a Sony fan, to be honest. Yeah, it just opens up doors for competitors to come in and crush you, so, you know, it is what it is. Let me know what you in the comments. I like the trade and all videos. Dear Father God, I thank you for this individual watching this one. I thank you for making the whole unique and God known apostle which peace, prosperity, and purpose. Thank you for blessing this person with wonderful people in their life. We love them, take care of them, bring the absolute best out of them. And thank you for maintaining the ones that are there to do the same thing. Thank you for blessing this person with love and marriage, sustain the love and marriage, and making very, very, very happy. Thank you for blessing this person with a uh, spirit of gratitude so they can give thanks for all the wonderful things in their life. And by giving thanks, like five peace, contentment, and attract you, all blessings that your presence be found in this person's life. So I know that your God, that your will, that your be there for them. Good health, long life, and happiness with this person. Everyone that care about you, my name is Jesus. Amen, 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 amen.